Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 m update, and we've got a sea of green as it pertains to the U.S. indices. you got the Dow trading up 98 points, quarter percent, half percent. For the S&P, or 24 points. The same for the NASDAQ. That's a 100-point move. One and three-tenths for the Russell. One percent for the semis. 45 points there. Tranny's up 241 percent. Gold's trading off five bucks. Silver's up nine pennies. Light three crude is up 65 cents. Natural gas up another two pennies. 30-year treasury printed out at 127.04. That is basically flat. Let's go take a look at what all this means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We'll begin by taking a look at the ES Mini, upper left-hand side. The ES Mini staking on trend line resistance. That trend line resistance established, excuse me, by the high from July 16th. And then the next couple of touch points can be either August 30th or the following day on September the 3rd. If price closes above that level, it favors uh, and suggests that price would go ahead and target or should target that uh, swing point from July 16th, anywhere between 5736. Uh, I, can't, I don't know why I can't read that. 57. 38 maybe, and uh, 5785. It's because I got the data box in the wrong spot. Now, that's going to be a likely outcome as long as the spot fix remains below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day, 1736. The VIX, 1699. We have the NQ also attempting to take out its descending trend line. Now, we've been moving sideways for a few days. Not the uh, best way to take out a descending trend line out there. But if we do get a close above, it would suggest that price would go target its swing point from August the 22nd, 17, 19,790 up to 2251. U.S. dollar index, it's got a Roadsman indicator bottom out here. It's just been a sideways consolidation move, no real signal there. You've got gold that is trading above the top of its daily profile, trading above its Austin and change line, although not seen here. Yes, it was a doji candle. Today could easily become a bearish engulfing candle. That would actually confirm a road momentum indicator top. That would suggest to move back to the 2560 level. Silver's in an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. It's price target, or initial price target, I should say, 3180. If we take a look at light speed crude, it's attempting to form a profile change in trend. It would accomplish that task today with a close above 7075. If it does that, we're trading at 7084 right now, and it does that again tomorrow. Then we've got a profile change in trend, and we should head back towards the uh, 7750-ish range out there. Uh, if we take a look at natural gas, what do I have out here? Do I have a trend line? Uh, we do. Natural gas has a little bit of a trend line that it's running into. If we can clear that area, we're off to the races to the upside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.